Hey friends, Nibs again. I wanted to get out to the garage here and uh, do a little project. <clears throat> and I uh, thought you guys might uh, appreciate seeing this and see how what's done here, how I do this. But uh, I have a couple of these already and uh, this one's a little bit smaller so it'd be a little bit more uh, challenging to hit at you know, probably like 50 yards or so. But uh, if you've watched any of my, uh, my videos at all, you know uh, I like to shoot these uh, gongs that I make out of old fire extinguishers. So I did uh, find another one. Just somebody set it outside the road, beside the road, and uh, I stopped and picked it up. That's where I, the other two that I have, um, I've had for several years now, and when I first found out about making a target of, out of a fire extinguisher, I was like, boy, where am I gonna find that? And literally that same day, I drove out of my driveway with my truck, drove down about a mile down the road, and there was two of these sitting on the side of the road. And I, one big one and one about this size, but a little bit bigger. And I stopped and picked both of them up. So, so what you're gonna need for this project is, uh, so this is a, uh, an old fire extinguisher. And you wanna make sure you get the ones that are spun steel, kind of like a, uh, <clears throat> kind of like a welding tank or, or a CO2 tank or something like that. Um, you don't want the ones that most of the newer ones are like a sheet metal based one and I mean it would make an okay target but it really doesn't have the same uh, sound when you hit it with a 22 or a, another like a pistol bullet or whatever. Um, just one word of caution about these, um, if your range has anything where you can have collateral damage to the sides uh, from shrapnel or whatever from ricochets then I would not recommend doing one of these. But, uh, you know, where I shoot uh, is just all woods. Everything to the left and right and behind is all woods, so <clears throat> this is perfectly fine for over there. Um, I wouldn't shoot anything. I, I, I did try shooting at one of my other ones with my 223, and it just went clean through it. Barely even made a sound. Um, but it went clean through both sides without even deforming the bullet. It looks like it was like you drilled two holes in the, in the can. So, but they are great for 22s and I've shot them a lot with pistols and stuff too. So, and, uh, haven't had any problems there. So the 22 bullets just completely, uh, disintegrate upon hitting it. So, so what you're going to need, uh, you could do this with an angle grinder with uh, a cutoff wheel. But that's kind of dangerous. I, I, if I can avoid using the cutoff wheels, I try to avoid that. You need some face shields and you know all that sort of thing. So what I actually have is uh, an old uh, porta band. I imagine you could probably do this with a sawzall with a, uh, a metal cutting blade as well. Um, so you have the. Uh, fire extinguisher actually has a hanging hook already on it so we're gonna make use of that and uh, then all you need I, I usually try to keep about a six foot use about a six foot length of chain and no a little a little uh, oh by the way here over the years I've tried just about every kind of chain I could possibly find for my hanging steel targets uh, I've got AR 500 plates and stuff that I shoot with big rifles and I've tried everything from a uh, 3 8 inch link chain all the way down to uh, just a cheap old dog chain. And if you hit any of those, it's going to break them. And if, unless you hit them, I've never broken the dog chain. So <clears throat> you can buy a 50 foot dog chain from like Dollar General for less than $10 with, and it comes with hook on either end so you're actually ahead of the game um, for the first two pieces that you need so um, then I like to get one of these little uh, screw uh, screw links uh, and that will hook into the uh, eye on the uh, extinguisher and then you can pick these little carabiners up for much less than a dollar I think they're you know, for like two for a buck at that Dollar General um, so <clears throat> that and uh, let's uh, I'm gonna bring you down to the, the floor here now I had the uh, 
tripod set up here so I, oh, oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna pause it I gotta flip the camera around alrighty friends so we're down here on the floor that's why I had the thing kind of low anyway to uh, have it ready to flip down but I sorry about that I had my tripod only uh, flexes in one direction and I had the camera sitting in there in the wrong way so so what I do first of all you want to make sure it's good and empty um, and uh, this thing would had a little tiny bit left in it when I first got it but uh, so you make sure it's good and empty and uh, what I'll start out with is uh, and hopefully it's probably block the way a little bit but so you take your porta band and go right above right above this uh, this is the, the hook I was talking about yeah. catching on this handle so let me grab a pair of pliers and get that handle out of the way maybe Sequences while I'm actually cutting just so it doesn't take too long in the video. So there's the top. And then uh, got this. Uh, other little handle here and I like to leave that on there actually and uh, that gives you something to carry it with so uh, <clears throat> that's what I've done on my other one so far um, that porta band will leave a little bit of sharp edges here so I've got my uh, angle grinder just with a little flap disc on there flap wheel. sharp edges off there and uh, I may take a pair of pliers and take these pieces off later but that's not a real big deal um, <clears throat> so it's got a band that goes around it that was actually what held the uh, get that off of there and now all we got to do is work on the bottom of it here and this is the this is the fun part here uh, that actually makes it ring so right now I mean I could hang it up and use it just like it is and, and it sounds pretty good but when you cut the bottom off it turns it into a really nice bell so and that uh, you could do that like I said with an angle grinder or with a, a sawzall with a metal cutting blade but the porta band really does so much nicer of a job so Time, a little bit of patience, but uh, it will cut through. So just keep, 
turn it, move the saw around. Halfway around, not thinking too well. this I, I've had I've been using this blade for probably 15 years now it's the first one I broke I do have another one on the wall so let me uh, pause and we'll switch it out alrighty folks I'm back put a new uh, put a new uh, blade on my bandsaw here so Said, probably not the straightest cut I ever did, but uh, it's not bad. So uh, now make sure you have your safety glasses on and everything, but uh, so that leaves a really sharp edge on the inside of this. So you want to. Just use a flap disc and take that sharp edge off. Nothing will ruin a fun trip to the, the range quicker than a big slice in your thumb or your, your finger. So, so now, remember when I hit it before, hear how much different that is? Uh, maybe I'll take the two little pieces side by side and put them for comparison. So, uh, so the next thing, the only other thing really to do is put your little hook in there and then take your your dog chain here, hook that on and then close that link up. And then I like to have a, a good little length of it because uh, you know different ranges have different uh, provisions for hanging targets and stuff so you can change it up. 
at the main range I go to uh, local here, I end up just kind of clipping this back onto here and looping it over top of uh, the two by four. <clears throat> so the only other thing I've ever done to these besides this is uh, kind of scratch it up a little bit and then uh, maybe hit it with a little bit of uh, orange marking paint just to, uh, just to get you uh, <clears throat> a little bit of visibility uh, if it's a low light or in the evening or whatever. But uh, there you go. Uh, probably, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes worth of work and I got another, uh, another cool target for out there at the range. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Like, share, and subscribe. And uh, see you out at the range soon. Use it just like it is and 